Well, good morning. With the issues in my personal life that are preventing me from hiking, I've been struggling to come up with what I'm going to continue for putting out content. And thinking about it, one of the most common questions that I get and that I've had have to do with food. You know, what do you eat when you're out hiking? What do you eat when you're backpacking? And especially with regard to food and weight. So I'm going to try and do some food related stuff that I can do here in my backyard. Um, I'm going to do it outside even though I'm at home because, well, I'm an outdoors channel. Why wouldn't I? So today I've got a kind of a backpacker classic which is mashed potatoes with a protein added. So come on, let's go see what we're going to do. So according to the package here, the serving will have three grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. It will also have 460 milligrams of sodium, which is pretty high, but when you're backpacking, a little bit of extra salt isn't a bad thing. The macros on the chicken is 4 grams of fat, 360 milligrams of sodium, 5 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So we've got a total here of 7 grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. That's not a bad meal. Um, again, that's one serving. For backpackers, I would usually double that. So I would take this package and split it in half, and then probably have two of these packages. But again, because I'm not hiking today, I don't need all that many calories, so I'm just going to make one serving and mix it. So what I've done here is I've measured out half a cup of water and a fourth of the package of the instant mashed potatoes. Now, I didn't measure the potatoes because I just, I had the package, so I measured out a quarter of it. That should be about a quarter cup which looks about right, because that is a two cup cup. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the hot water in that I microwaved. Give that a stir. And I may have to give it a few minutes to thicken up, but while it's doing that, I can open up the package of the chicken. Everybody knows this is a low budget channel. It's just me here. So, and of course, even though I'm in my own backyard, leave no trace, right? Don't want to leave a mess because I'm going to have to clean it up if I do. So, so the consistency of this chicken is more like a paste than chunk. But there's a fair amount in there. I did not use one of the flavored mashed potatoes because I wanted to see how much of the flavor from the chicken comes through once I've mixed them all together. And of course, if you wanted to, you could add cheese or maybe some garlic powder, a little bit of pepper. I wouldn't add any more salt though you certainly could if 
you are really sweating a lot. Okay, so now let's give that a quick, quick stir. Get everything mixed up. So according to the package, this should have about 210 calories, which isn't a bad lunch. So let's see how it tastes. It's got a slight peppery smell. You can definitely taste the garlic and herb even after it's been thoroughly mixed. It's got your typical instant mashed potato mouthfeel, which is not the greatest, but I've certainly had worse. Overall, this isn't bad. Um, it doesn't take very long at all to boil up a quarter cup of water. And, excuse me, a half a cup of water. Now, if you were making the entire package, say you were feeding two people, or you were super, super hungry, you'd have to boil up two cups of water, which would take a little longer. But overall, I think this is pretty good. I think I would prefer it if the chicken was a little chunkier so that you, you had a little bit of texture in there. Um, maybe add some fried onions to it so you get a little bit of crunch mixed in with it. Uh, you could certainly have some fresh vegetables if you wanted to in order to give it a little bit of zing here and there. But overall I think this is good. I know most backpackers they don't want to do the fresh vegetable thing that's just it makes it hard and I love the videos of all of the recipes by Chef Steve Corso but the reality is that that's time consuming and especially if you're doing long days long miles you don't necessarily have that much time that you can spend just messing about with food so something like this is quick it's easy, and it's not your instant backpacker meals. Um, you do still need a bowl that you're going to have to wash, so you still have a little bit of dishes. So it's not perfect, but maybe if you took these and you put it in mylar pouches ahead of time, you might be able to cook it in the pouch, and then, you know, you, you can just throw the pouch away when you're done, or... You, you can pack it into a Ziploc so that when your trip is over, you can take those and wash them and reuse them because Mylar is reusable, but you can also put boiling water in it. So I hope you found this informative and entertaining. If you like this kind of content, please let me know because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. If you don't like this kind of content, let me know that too. Let me know what I could do here in my backyard to entertain and inform you for future backpacking planning. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Azmuth out. So having finished that, I have to say I'm still a little hungry. Um, it's only 220 calories and I looked at what I usually eat for lunch on a day-to-day -day basis and it's closer to 600 calories. So um, definitely good if I'm trying to keep my weight down, which I am, but if I was out backpacking I can imagine that one serving would definitely not satisfy me. So I would definitely want to at least double the the serving 
or add something else to it, you know, maybe a, a nice uh, protein bar for dessert or something.